shame we have to plant that transmitter at the McDonald's tonight. There's a great movie on TV. What is it? In Cold Blood. It's about <laughs> this innocent family is brutally murdered. May when I they see that, Rose? Sure. <laughs> Thank you. Rose, we're nervous enough about having to go over to the McDowell's. Do you have to make it worse? Well, it's nothing to be nervous about. I mean, Bobby and Al are watching through the kitchen window the whole time. If we get in trouble, we just have to signal them. Oh, how are we doing, ladies? Well, to be honest, we're just a little nervous. All right. Let's go over the plan one more time. Check. At 1,800 hours, we enter the suspect's domicile. At 1,830 hours, we sit down to dinner. After wine is poured, at approximately 1,840 hours, I begin telling the story about Uncle Hurtis and the three skunks in the fountain, which should last about... 1,900 hours. <laughs> Dorothy, here's the transmitter. Just keep it in the palm of your hand, and then with one quick movement, stick it under the table. That's all there is to it. All right, so there any other questions? Well, I guess that's it. Good luck, ladies. Let's go. Oh, Ma, Ma, you're not going. Oh, yes, I am. If anything goes wrong, you need someone with experience. Experience with what? With life. You're looking at a woman who lived through two world wars, 15 vendettas, four major operations, and two Darrens on Bewitched. <laughs> I don't think those are very good reasons to go. No, how about this one? I'm hungry. <laughs> Let's roll, Dano. <laughs> Al, all right, that's the front door closing. Yeah, the ladies are out of the house. The transmitter's working perfectly. I hear everything clear as a bell. They really did it. I can't believe it. You know, I gotta tell you, Bobby, I had big doubts about this one. Congratulations, ladies. You did a great job. Oh, it's really working. Uh, Bobby, give her the phones. Let her hear. Oh, I hate to say this, but it was almost fun. Fun? Oh, my pulse was racing. My heart was pounding. I could barely get my breath. I think that's the most fun I've ever had standing up. <laughs> no, I take it back. There was that one time on that 740. <laughs> They keep talking about that noodle head in the red dress. Could that be code language? <laughs> Only to the noodle head in the red dress. <laughs> okay, what happens next? Well, we should get enough out of this bug in the next few hours to get our warrants and be out of your lives by midday tomorrow. I'm beat. I'm going to bed. Oh, so am I. Oh, boy, not me. I'm too excited to sleep. <laughs> no, you're not. You're beat, too. Oh, yeah, I'm beat, too. Oh, I'm so beat, I won't be able to hear a thing that goes on. I don't care what happens. But I sure would like to hear about it all in the morning. Give <laughs> me the earphones, Bobby. You go get some rest. Go ahead. Okay, Al. Hey, Dorothy, I just want to say... Did a nice job. Thanks, Sam. And Dorothy, I also wanted to say, took guts. Thanks, Sam. You see, Dorothy, I just wanted to ask you. Well, I wanted to ask you. For God's sakes, he wants to ask you to go out with him. <laughs> you got your listening equipment, I got mine. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>